You will never hatch your own eggs, Giovanni, you silly dog. I wish, nay, intend to hatch my own eggs, Rebecca. But the farmer's wife has forbidden it. And indeed, I have not the patience to sit on the nest for 28 days, and no more have you, Jemima. Oh, you would let them go cold, you know you would. Yes, of course. 
course. Yes, more eggs. Oh, of course, dear lady. Now I'm certain I couldn't leave the care of my nest in better hands. Absolutely. Oh, nothing I like better than eggs and ducklings. I should be proud to see a fine nest full in my woodshed. Oh, what could be a finer scent? Jemima Puddle Duck came every afternoon. She laid nine eggs in the nest. They were greeny white and very large. The foxy gentleman admired them immensely. He used to turn them over and count them when Jemima was not there. So I shall return tomorrow when I intend to sit my eggs and I will bring a bag of corn with me so that I need never leave my nest until the eggs are hatched. They might catch cold. Madam, I beg you not trouble yourself with a bag. I will provide oats, but before you commence your tedious sitting, I intend to give you a treat. <gasps> Let us have a dinner party all to ourselves. Oh, what a truly splendid idea! Oh, how kind! How thoughtful! <laughs> May I ask you to bring out some herbs for me? farm garden to make a savory omelet, sage and thyme and mint and two onions, oh, and some parsley. I will provide lard for the stuffy alum, lard for the omelet. Sage, thyme, mint, parsley, and onions from the kitchen. Yes. Jemima Puddle Duck was a simpleton. She quite unsuspectingly went round nibbling snippets off all the different sorts of herbs that are used for stuffing roast duck. What are you doing with those onions? Where do you go every afternoon by yourself, Jemima Puddle Duck? Well... Uh, well, they wouldn't allow me to hatch out a brood of my own eggs. That puffed up, overbearing hen, so maligned me gossiping in the farmyard that even my sister-in-law, Rebecca, said I should not have the patience to sit for 28 days. Well, it's all right for her. She doesn't care to sit her eggs. Go on. So I set off to find a secret place where no one could interfere. And did you? Oh, a wonderfully secluded clearing in the woods. And the gentleman there was so helpful. Gentleman? Oh, yes. Elegant, with the most distinguished candy whiskers and a beautiful bushy tail. And such manners. <laughs> Exactly where is this clearing, and how is the house positioned within it? Ken had no doubt who the sandy whiskered gentleman was, so made haste to find the two foxhound puppies who were out at walk with the butcher.
the last we shall see of that foxy whisker, gentlemen. She was permitted to keep them herself, but only four of them hatched. 